What up, humans? Karumi here, and welcome to the Mobile Legends Boot Camp. In this video, we are going to talk about the Marksman, Moskov. Moskov has a good set of area of effect, blink, crowd control, and buff skills. Our sphere of quiescence, Moskov, is a Marksman hero. I consider Moskov as a mobile burst Marksman, since his first skill lets him blink. And it buffs him with additional attack speed. Not only that, his passive skill grants his basic attack to also hit the enemies behind the target. Unfortunately, his range is short unlike other marksmen. But this is greatly compensated by his deadly skills during team fights. Now, let me share some tips and tricks on how to use Moskov based on my experience. I will also teach you some combos and techniques on the latter part of this boot camp. But before that, let me explain his skills one by one for further understanding. Moskov's passive, Spirit of Quiescence, allows Moskov to penetrate targets and deal damage to the enemies behind them. But do take note that the penetration damage is not 100% of his physical attack. It just deals a percentage of his physical attack. This is pretty scary during team fights, since it will hit most of the enemies. Also, the cooldown of his first and second skill will be reduced by 0.8 seconds for every successful basic attack landed to enemies. Moskov's first skill, Abyss Walker, lets him teleport to a specified direction. This skill also buffs him with additional attack speed, and also enhances his passive skill's penetration damage. Meaning, the damage dealt to the enemies behind the target is increased during the buff. Skill Spirit of Misery strikes at an enemy hero with full strength, knocking back the target and also healing physical damage. If the push target collides with another enemy hero, then both of them will receive physical damage and be stunned for one second. If the push target knocks into an obstacle, the target will be stunned for two seconds. The enemy that's hit by the skill cannot go in stealth for a short while. Moskov's ultimate skill, Spear of Destruction, lets Moskov throw out the Spear of Destruction after a short casting time. The Spear will travel throughout the map along a straight line. Enemy hit will receive physical damage. And each enemy hit will increase Moskov's physical attack depending on its level. This can stack up to 5 times, and the buff will last for 8 seconds. There are so many items that you can buy for Moskov. You can focus on offensive items since Moskov is a marksman. For me, I choose to buy items that grants critical chance, critical damage, attack speed, and physical attack. In my opinion, you can consider buying Swift Boots for Moskov. Swift Boots grants him additional attack speed and movement speed. Having additional attack speed will make Moskov attack more. This will let you deal lots of attacks, especially during team fights. Buying attack items such as Berserker's Fury can boost your damage effectively. This item gives you additional physical attack and critical chance. Its unique passive grants you additional critical damage on your critical hits. Also, dealing critical hits will increase your physical attack by a certain amount, for a short period of time. You might also want to consider Scarlet Phantom. This item grants physical attack, attack speed, and critical chance. Its unique passive grants you additional attack speed and critical chance. After dealing a critical hit to an enemy, this buff lasts for a few seconds. You might want to consider Demon Hunter Sword. This item gives you physical attack and attack speed. Its unique passive will give a bonus effect on your basic attack. This bonus effect will deal a percentage of target's current health points, as additional physical damage. Demon Hunter Sword's another unique passive grants a 4% life steal for 3 seconds, on each basic attack which lasts for 3 seconds. This effect stacks up to 5 times. You might also want to consider Haas's Claws. 
This item grants you life steal and additional physical attack. Its unique passive will grant you extra life steal when your health point reaches a certain point. You might want to consider Blade of Despair. This item grants additional physical attack and movement speed. Its unique passive will give you additional physical attack. When the target's health is below a certain percentage, the movement speed bonus can also help you chase enemies or escape death. The item build for Moskov really depends on the enemy's lineup. So make sure to read each item's description so you can adapt in-game. One of the best spell to be used on Moskov is Flicker. You can use it to escape danger, even death. I use Flicker a lot for Marksman Heroes, since Marksman Heroes must always keep their distance. I will show later on how great the Flicker spell is. Trust me, it's the best. You can also consider Aegis. This grants a shield to your hero for a short period. This also grants 50% shield points to the nearby ally with lowest health. In my opinion, the best emblem set to be used is the Custom Marksman Emblem set. Custom Marksman Emblem could provide extra stats according to your needs as a Marksman. Set Fatal to its max level because it can give you extra critical chance. Higher critical chance means higher chance to deal critical damage. Setting Doom to max level will provide you additional critical damage. Higher critical damage means higher damage on your critical hits. Get Weakness Finder to have the chance to slow enemies. The effect will greatly reduce target's movement speed and attack speed. This effect has a short cooldown. For me, it's the best thing to get. Why? Because this can help you chase enemies since Moskov has a short range. Set first skill to max level first. Prioritizing this makes the attack speed bonus higher. That means you can deal more attacks to enemies with this skill. Prioritize second skill less since the first skill is what you need for damage dealing. Always upgrade the ultimate skill when available for upgrading. Moskov's passive skill is one of the best damage dealing skills out there. Just imagine a marksman dealing damage in an area, that's pretty sick. With this skill, Moskov could really clear lanes faster than anyone with just using basic attack. His first skill is a 2-in-1 skill. It lets him blink, just like Flicker. It can pass through thin obstacles as well. Also, it buffs him with additional attack speed. The attack speed buff is very useful since the more attack you deal, the more cooldown reduced your first and second skill because of your passive skill. Moskov's second skill is a great crowd control skill since it could stun enemies up to 2 seconds. This is a good combo with your first skill, since you can blink to your desired position, making your second skill push the enemies to an obstacle. This is also useful in team fights, since you can push enemies together. His ultimate skill is what you need for killing dying enemies, or assisting teammates with their own fights. With its no range limit capability, you can surely kill dying enemies anywhere. Well, just make sure you hit them. In terms of spells, Flicker is the best for me, since his second skill's blink has a short range. I need extra blink when enemies are really hard to run from. I also use it to chase dying enemies, when my second skill is on cooldown. In terms of team fights, I usually follow a simple combo for Moskov, before going in team fights. Make sure to use your ultimate, your ultimate will boost your physical attack, depending on the number of enemies hit. No, I use my first skill to boost my attack speed. But do take note of the position you are blinking in. On this scenario, I chose the position where I'm facing Minotaur which has a wall behind. With this, I'm free to use my second skill to Minotaur. This will stun him to eternity. With your attack speed boost and massive damage dealing, Minotaur would bite the dust any second now. Then, I use my first skill again to chase other enemies. Be cautious of using your second skill because this might push the enemies away to safety. You don't want that to happen, do you? The tips I mentioned are just some of the ways you can use Moskov. This video just guides you on how to use Moskov the Kurumi way. So, once again, this is Kurumi and that's how you use Moskov. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to my channel for more contents by clicking on the subscribe button below. For our skin giveaway events, check out the featured video on our channel for the mechanics. 
see you on the next Mobile Legends Bootcamp. Cheers.